Hi everybody, it's Heidi with The Weather Fence Post and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, my husband Steve and I are resellers in the Raleigh Garner, North Carolina area. Currently we do not sell online because we have full-time jobs and we have two booths that we handle over the weekends, so we just don't have time to do online sales right now. Maybe someday in the future. What we love to do on this channel is we love to take you out hunting for treasures with us and then we like to go over the haul. What I'm doing right now is a series of hauls from a, an estate sale that we went to, and we're calling it the Collector's Estate Sale. We went last week, and actually just myself went, not my husband. We, I went with uh, Joanne from Bat Thrift Crazy, so you're going to want to go over to her channel and check out what she found at that estate sale. And we just really, we cashed in. There was great stuff there, and in fact, I'm going back tomorrow. I think she's going to go back on Sunday. I'm going to go back tomorrow and we're gonna get some more. So today is part two of, I don't know how many parts it's gonna be, of things that I found at that great collector's estate sale. So let's get into it. A lot of what I picked up on that first visit to that estate sale was Christmas. And I said in the last video, I think that's because they were trying to push Christmas items out. They have posted you know, the upcoming weekend sale and they said they found some vintage Halloween. So, I saw some things in the picture. I want to see if there's more. I'm going to try to be there first thing in the morning and get in that house and see if I can get to that vintage Halloween because, boy, do I love finding vintage Halloween, and it's hard to find. So starting right out with some of the... Uh, continuing, actually continuing with some of the Christmas items I found, I picked up, let's see, one, two, three, four, five of these beautiful, like, cross-stitch stockings. I just love this one with the poinsettias on it. I just think it's beautiful, and they have, like, that velvety backing really great love that then there's two here that are exactly the same these are they say they're needlepoint they look like cross stitch to me but i guess needlepoint can be cross stitch but the santa and look at them the bottom look at the toys this is great and then this one is another santa Love him. He's kind of like a woodland Santa with his pack of toys on his back. And a basket of toys down there. And then these are angels with a candlestick. Just beautiful. Beautiful cross stitch stockings. Love them. And I don't think this video is going to be quite as long as the last one because on the last one I actually included some of the hunting. And maybe I will on this one too. I could. I could actually on the end put tomorrow morning's hunting. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. This little guy, he's so adorable. He is called a Merry Mice by Pipka. And his name is Joey. He's from 2004. Just this cute, adorable mouse at the uh, fence post with cardinals. And looks like he's putting bows on the fence. Just really adorable. And then these little mice are Inesco. They're cute little mice saying their prayers before bed. thought those were adorable. This piece I said to him I didn't want and he said when I, when I was packaging everything up and he said nothing goes back so he just gave it to me. And it does play music. I've got to put a uh, a battery in it and test it but apparently it plays music I don't think it moves or anything but it plays music so a little um, carousel horse carousel piece and I don't see any marking on the bottom as far as like is it hallmark or something like that actually I know what I'm gonna throw on the end of this video because I'm just gonna go over a few of the items because we got to get going but there's some items that Steve and I actually went last Saturday down to uh, Turkey, North Carolina, and we stopped at a few places, and there's a couple items I want to show you from that. So I was busy last weekend hunting between Saturday and Sunday. This little guy is from the estate sale. He is from 2006, and what was his name? Let's see. Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat is his name. He's a tie, but I just love his checkered hat. I think that's awesome. So I picked him up. And here's a little bat. Now he's not a tie. He's a Mary Meyer. But he's adorable. 1996. Little bat. That's his little tag. So 
I thought he was cute. And then here's a metal witch. Stand back a little bit so you can see her. She's a cute little metal witch with a great big purple hat. She's got a bat on her hat. I think that's a bat. Yeah, that's a bat. She's holding a pumpkin. I thought she was very folky cute. And then just a simple little pin, little cat pin. So I think that's it for the Halloween items. I believe that's it for Halloween. If you haven't watched the video of us actually at the home hunting, that last video I did will give you an idea of how much stuff was actually in this home. I absolutely love these pieces. They're like frame. Can you see how thick the framing is? They're like um, almost like a shadow box. And there's the back of them. They do look like they have quite a bit of age on them. And this one is like a... Uh, cross stitch again a needle point or cross stitch it's really really beautiful i don't know if you can see the detail on those flowers and then these are two i would say victorian ladies and look at the frames aren't they just gorgeous and again they're like a shadow box they're very very deep and the picture sits back in it but i think these are gorgeous these are one of my fa another one of my favorite pieces. There were several favorite pieces I picked up there, but I would say these are another one of my favorite pieces. I just think they're really unique and beautiful. It says on the back here, Chelsea Art Products. So here's an idea of the size to give you an idea of what the size is like, but just really beautiful. Turn the camera a little bit because we're getting quite a glare from the sun. It's a nice sunny day today here in North Carolina. Look at this beautiful Lennox piece. Now they had this labeled that it was antique Lennox. Gorgeous. It's like a leaf, I would say. And do you see like this hobnail detail on it? And there's the bottom, the marking on it. Just a really beautiful soft shell pink color with this cream for the uh, stem. I just really loved this piece in great condition. Okay, I picked up several of these next items and, you, and I did show this in the video. Uh, these are like sun catchers. They're artwork that you know you would hang up in your window and a few of them are Mary Englebright. There's some sticker residue I've got to clean off there. But uh, this one is home is where the heart is. Very beautiful. I just love these. And then this one is Life is Just a Chair of... This is... <laughs> hey, Joanne, this has the same saying of one of the items that you picked up. Life is Just a Chair of Bullies. And I think somebody said that was like kind of her um, motto saying. So there's that. And then this one is a beautiful... It's not Mary Englebright, but it's just this gorgeous angel. I love it. And there's several here. This one's so pretty. I think this was the first one that I saw. I really love this one. And the colors in this, when the light hits it in the background, it's just beautiful. And I think I picked up a couple duplicates because I just thought they were so fantastic. I think I'm gonna turn this light off so that we're not getting a glare. There we go. Maybe we can see, yeah. You can see that a little better with some of the background, but look at the beautiful birds on that. That's gorgeous. I really, really liked this one, and I thought a lot of people would really like this one. I just think the content on this is beautiful. We're getting a lot of reflection there, but just love this old cupboard. It's full of potter, potting, you know, potting pieces and dried flowers and the boots and the watering can. I loved it so much. There were three of them there. I picked every single one of them up. I thought they were beautiful. And then this one says, footprints tell where you've been, your heart tells where you're going. And it's a beautiful um, snow scene with footprints in the snow. And I thought it was really, really gorgeous. So I love these. I'm really excited about bringing these to the booth. I think they're going to do very it's well. This beautiful double deck of Hallmark cards. They're gorgeous. I love the colors in these. Those are my colors, that green, that teal. Love that. And then here's the back. It says Tropicana on it. Even the case is really beautiful with that marbling. And the cards are gorgeous themselves. So I went ahead and grabbed them. And then these, I think, are prescription. I've tried to look through them. I don't think they're bifocals or reading glasses. 
They're, I think they were prescription. I just thought they had a very unique look. I have no idea if anybody will be interested in these, but you can, if you don't want to use them, you can fold them down. I've never seen that before. And look, you can see, maybe they act like, I don't know, but that looks pretty clear to me when I'm looking through it. Somewhat clear, but look at how that, anyway. I thought they were really, really interesting how those fold up and down. I'm just going to show it this direction because for some reason my phone is, just does not like to focus on small items when I have it turned around. But I just think these are fantastic and I just wanted you to see them close up and so that you can really appreciate how beautiful they are. There we go. Oh, I love this one. And it says that it's made in Korea. I just think it's gorgeous. And then this one's kind of like a standard, like I said, kind of a standard pearl. But so pretty. And while I have it turned around, I'm just going to show you this one pin that I picked up. It looks like it's a, a cherub painting the, a star pink. I think that's a pink color, sitting on a moon painting a star pink. thought it was kind of a unique pin. I think we're going to continue with this because for some reason I think I'm getting just too much light in the background and I, it's kind of washing everything out. So I want to show you this stuff so that you can really appreciate it up close and with it focused in. This cat is adorable. I love this little cat. Kind of reminds me of Joanne's cat, Lewis. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It kind of does. He's a little tuxedo cat. So adorable with his tail. And then this one is looking at a butterfly. It's got a little dust there i got to clean off. But it's just a beautiful piece with looking up at a butterfly. I picked up one of these little lamps. I love the green on this and the hobnail. Very pretty. Here's an elephant paperweight. We usually have these in our booths, these paperweights. I always pick these up, these art glass paperweight pieces. Here's a whale. I think he's cute. And let me see if we can look at these again and see if we can get a better look. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Look at that. I really love these pictures. I just wanted you to be able to see it a little bit better so that you can appreciate how beautiful they really are. And then this is, what do they call this, a Jack in the Pulpit? Is that what they call this? Jack in the Pulpit? I'll look that up. I think that's what it's called. I found this in a, in a cabinet. It's on this stand. And it's this beautiful ruby red glass. Just gorgeous. That's the base of it. I didn't see any markings on it. No damage, but it goes in this little metal stand. I thought that was a really pretty piece. And I think that is it that I was going to show you today from that estate sale. Okay, that is everything from the estate sale in this video that I'm going to show you. Well, the things I'm going to show you now are the things that I found when I was with Steve last Saturday when we went down to Turkey. And uh, I've got about maybe 10 to 15 items here. This, Steve actually found. We were at the Beacon Thrift Store. And uh, he said, do you see those, um, what do you say, those nude dancers over there? They're brass. And uh, I just, I mean, I, I went flying through that store like a mad woman <laughs> to get to them. Because they are brass, they are dancers, and they're just fantastic. I love them. Now, when I got them home, I did notice this one. I don't know if you can see the hand on this one is broken off, but you really can't tell. And I think whoever picks these up is going to want them as a set. So I will just price this one a little bit lower, and I'll note that the hand is broken off. 
but I think they still are fantastic and I'm gonna put them together. Picked up this Party Light Buddha. It says it's made from Party Light. Now the neat thing about these is you can put crystal balls here or those, the, um, the glass balls. Let me get one so I can like show you. Like here's one of my egg paperweights that I have. Isn't it gorgeous? I love these. But you could use that to display too, besides putting a candle. It's designed to hold a candle, but you could use these for crystals or paperweights or anything like that special that you want to place there. But I thought that Buddha was pretty cool. These trays were really interesting and just, I love the moodiness of them and the deep, dark colors in them. And even the content I thought was great. They're made in Hong Kong and it's a set of vintage trays. I guess they would use these for, you know, snacks. If you're doing like hors d'oeuvres, but I thought these were really, really interesting and in pretty good condition. There's not much surface scratching. And I just, I thought, yes, we'll definitely grab these. Also picked up this Grecian. It's made in Greece and it says Kapyadi. Kap Kapyadi, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Kapyadi, pretty heavy, pretty heavy duty. So it's some type of, I don't know if this is bronze or br I don't think it's brass. This might be a bronze piece. I've got to check that out. But it looks like, you know, you would put like a, a candle or a, a plant or something on the top here. I don't know. Or just, it's supposed to be a column. So maybe that's just the way it is. I thought it was interesting. Grab that. Steve pointed these out. And these say that they're actually made in England which I found interesting, but he wanted to get them so when he's making a coffee bar, he can put them on his next coffee bar that he makes. I thought it was a great idea. In really good condition, so we grabbed those. Here is a set of Pooh's Pot of Honey, a set of small little miniature books. These are from the 60s. I did open them all up and take a look. Let's, let's see if we can get them out so you can see them. This one is Pooh and Piglet Go Hunting. And then there is Who Hears a Buzzing Noise, Who Goes Visiting, and Eeyore Loses a Tail. So I picked that little set up. Love this bird. I am still trying to find things for spring. Actually, I'm really just starting to try to find things for spring. So I picked up this bird. There's no damage or anything to it. It's vintage. I thought that would be pretty in the spring booth. And then this is not vintage. I have some in the booth and I've sold them that were vintage. I think I have one left. And I actually kind of picked this up for myself because after I put those in the booth, I was kind of like missing, my, missing them. So I think I'm gonna use this one for myself. Found another glass orb that I will keep for myself. Another beautiful glass orb. And then the last thing is this really interesting mug that I found, and I'm going to keep this for myself. I just loved it. It says, change your thinking, change your world, think happy stuff. And I love that message. Absolutely love that message. My, I, I don't know what's happened recently in my brain, but for some reason in my brain, I'm like, I'm going to focus on the happy stuff. That's all I want to think about. Actually, that wasn't the last thing. I did find this. This is... Emerson Creek Pottery, made in 1998 out of Virginia. I really think it's beautiful. Look at the irises on that. Now, I have no clue what this was for. I'm thinking maybe potpourri, and that's what the holes are there for. It was to hold potpourri, maybe. But a beautiful pottery piece. So I grabbed that, and then there was a flower, glass flower that I'm going to put in my garden outside next year, because it's time to bring all the glass stuff in. Okay, that's it for this haul. I don't think it's a real long one. I think it's kind of short and sweet, but at least we went over some cool things. I am going to go hunting tomorrow. First thing at that estate sale, if, if it's not crazy, I have a feeling it will be. If it's not real crazy, I'll try to definitely get some footage for you because that's the kind of filming I really enjoy doing the most is the hunting. And so if I can get you some hunting footage, I definitely will do that. I'm getting ready. Steve and I are getting ready to head down to the booth at Collected Treasures. They just messaged us. The last tree, Christmas tree that we had in there just sold. So we probably have a big mess down there we need to clean up and uh, refresh that booth. So we're heading out to do that. 
until I talk to you again, which will probably be shortly, because I've got several videos going real quick here. Everybody get out there, find yourself your own treasures, put a big smile on your face, and you know, focus on the happy stuff. Let's do that. Let's all focus on the happy stuff, and maybe, who knows, maybe things will change.